Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only World Improv Network comedy show on Mile High Sports Radio. Take part in the show by giving your suggestions or questions to the cast for each show segment throughout the week or live during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling in to Mile High Sports Radio Studio Line. Now, enjoy the show. It's local. It's global. You're listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith. Breaking news into the Win World Local News sports desk from Win Sports reporter Hopped Up Grop, who's live in Confluence Park in downtown Denver, Colorado, where HGH enraged San Diego Charger players are body surfing down the frigid Platte River. What's the scene like out there, Mr. Grop? Whoa, Potter, I gotta tell you, I've never seen this much uh, drenched aggression before. You just see these depressed players, but they don't care about it because all they're filled with is just pure rage. Uh, well, one minute, uh, one of the players is trying to hand me something, Potter. It's, uh, it's a blue vial that it was shipped to his wife. <laughs> take this, take this, take this right now because it's a bus for the next session. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and trust him, Potter, because he does, he is a long snapper for the San Diego Chargers. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop open this vial with one moment here. <laughs> Apparently, it's supposed to help you sustain the freezing temperatures from the river. So let me just. <laughs> Alright, Potter. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive and fight a baby or whatever else is in that river. Uh, <laughs> back to you, Potter! Wow. I don't even want to know what that blue vial's all about, but I tell you what, Grop, I hope you make it back alive. Alright, well, the next story of 2016 is brought to us by wind contributor Jeffrey of Los Angeles, California. To christen the year of the monkey, CEO and founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, has decided to give away a newborn white unicorn to one lucky Facebook groupie. To get the celestial details on Lord Zuckerberg's Zodiac Defiant present, let's go live to win senior astrology and business reporter, Mr. Cleo, who's in Palo Alto, California, with the divine details. Mr. Cleo? Thank you, Potter. It is Mr. Cleo. I am feeling a lot of great vibes out for the state of Colorado. I feel that the winner of this white unicorn is going to be in here. Ah, you pacify. I feel an aura about you. Come speak to me. Sha, you know what's going on, brah. Ah, I can tell. Don't tell me. Your name is Macy's. Mason Chan. Sure, you know, how'd you know that, bro? It's just Mason, yeah? Mason Chance, do you have a... Do you have a Facebook? Sure, you know, of course, it's Chance, 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 yeah. You... I'm telling you right now, I am feeling great positive vibes for you. How would you like a once-in-a-lifetime white unicorn? You, you mean that thing over there, you know, that's farting out of his back end? Shaw, oh, yeah, I'd love to ride that, you know, like a like a floater board, you know, in the beach. Ah, you are pointing at a moped. I oh. think you are on narcotics. You know, okay. this just looks like some custom rides you got there, you know, so when you said unicorn bra, you know, I thought that had to be it, because that is so... Dope, you know. Uh, come to think of it, uh, Mr. Cleo does not think that you really need the good luck. Uh, you know, I want everybody to close their eyes if you are sitting at home, and I want you to think positive vibes, positive thoughts for Mr. Cleo. And if you do so for Mr. Cleo, it shall reward itself upon you and manifest itself, manifest itself into huh? a great tree. Back to you, Mr. Potter. Oh, Mr. Zuckerberg's actually giving out a unicorn. I want it. Oh, well, but I guess I'm not eligible because I'm not on Facebook. Well, anyway, on to our next New Year's story, brought to us by wind contributor Tabby of Atlanta, Georgia. Controversial super-duper demigod rapper Kanye West, on his new single called Facts, professes all that is true, including an Apollo Creed-style verbal body blow to troubled TV icon Bill Cosby. 
to hear what universal truths Farrell West has decreed for 2016, let's go live to win arts and entertainment reporter Kathy Lee Crippen, who's in Times Square, New York, with the knowledge. Kathy Lee? Girlfriend, I am right now here in Times Square, and you know what? I got the man, the myth, the legend himself. Mm-hmm, that's right. And it ain't Kanye West, it's his publicist. It's his publicist, and his name is George Costanza. George, how you doing today? I'm doing great. It's uh, great to be able to talk to you, to go ahead and uh, clear up all the issues that people may have uh, in their head with it. Well, you, you know, the, I wasn't able to get to, you know, the Pharaoh himself, you know, and so I'm kind of disappointed, you know, but, you know, I'll tell you what. What is the he decreed for this year? What is he going to say about what's going to happen in the wars overseas? And what is he going to say, you know, about everything else that's happening in the world in 2016? Well, you're asking a lot of great questions. But the thing is that the, the, the predictable uh, nature of Pharaoh Lord West uh, does not exist because he is not a predictable human being. Uh, so I say, sit back, relax, and enjoy his wisdom when he decides to grant you it. Yeah, you know, I was like, you know, I realized that he has like fashion issues with Adidas, has his own line and stuff. So, I mean, what is he going to do with that? I mean, is everybody in the world eventually going to wear Kanye West shoes or something? What people don't know is everybody in the world is already wearing Kanye West shoes. They just don't have his name on it yet. Oh, well, I want a pair and I want them to be gold on the bottom and I want like eagle wings on the back and then I want like Anubis's face. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, right on the front of my toe box. Well, that sounds like an amazing shoe design. I can tell you that they will immediately be shot down because I, Mr. West doesn't like competition for, you know, over the top. That's right. You know, I, I just want him to then, if nothing else, I mean, rub my belly and bless my baby because I'm eight and a half months pregnant right now. Oh, well, he, that's things that he is not capable of doing. Yet. Okay, fine. Then maybe I'll take care of it some other time. Back to you, putter. Well. Well, thank you, Kathy Lee. Uh, can't wait to see what Kanye West has in store for us all this year. Well, now for a look at the global weather, let's check in with Rose Sunflower, who's on location at the 2016 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Photo Shoot on Black Sand Beach in Antarctica. How's the weather and the sh shoot going, Tulip? Okay, I could just tell you that this entire beach potter is just filled with smog. Smog from all the smugginess of all these photographers who think that I'm not good enough to be on the pages of these magazines. Don't they understand that I'm the only reason people watch and listen to this show? Don't they understand, Potter, that I am a star? But you know what? They're seagulls. They're happy because it's sunny and the breeze is making it easy for them to fly. So whatever. There's that. But you know what else is really easy to fly? The ego of all these male photographers who think that they can cast their judgment upon me because I don't think they're mole. Well, you know what? I hope that there is just a sun ray that gives all of these photographers skin cancer. Back to you, Potter. Well, that sounds pretty aggressive, Rose. Well, a good take on the weather, and nonetheless, and thank you all for tuning in to Wind World Local News on My Life Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smiths. Stay tuned for Community Court next on the World Improv Network. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break for a case that needs to be tackled during Community Court next on Mile High Sports Radio.